Guys, the internet is going bonkers over this burger right here, the crack burger. And today I want to show you how I make this crack burger and see if it's any good. Bacon, 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 bacon. Little tip for y'all, you know, you get these packs of bacon and sometimes they're hard to get apart. Well, if you do that little rolly rolly technique right there, you'll be the cat's meow, okay? Coming over to our griddle, I got it pre warmed It's on about a low heat here. We're gonna get all these strips of bacon down onto the griddle. We're gonna cook those, not quite crispy, because we wanna crumble some of these and we're gonna save some strips for our burger. After flipping your bacon over, just cook it to your desired likeness. I like mine with a little bit of chew to it. If you want it crispy, go crispy. And once that's done, we're just gonna put it over onto a paper towel and we're gonna get it ready to chop up and to make our burgers. Now friends, is the fun part. We're gonna assemble these burgers. Get them ready for some griddle action, okay? We're gonna glove up here. Glove up, cause we're gonna get, we're gonna get dirty, all right? Just gonna get dirty. If you're hearing a little bit of uh, a little bit of background noise, uh, we got pellet grill going, but we also have some mowing crews starting to get warm here in North Carolina. People getting their yards mowed. All right, so I got want to use about a pound and a half of this is 80/20 ground chuck. Okay, 80/20 ground chuck. One thing that I thought was interesting was this crack burger recipe had sour cream in it. Pretty cool about three tablespoons. And then, I like this idea right here, ranch dressing seasoning. I mean, ranch dressing is the condiment of the South, y'all. It's like redneck ketchup. Cheese, I think they recommended some cheddar cheese. I'm using a cheddar jack cheese, okay? Good little hefty amount, maybe about a cup. And what I forgot to do, I got that bacon off, is I gotta chop up some. So they want bacon crumbles inside of this burger, but also, you know, use a little bit of that bacon for the toppings as well. <laughs> bacon and bacon and bacon. What do you think, Jacob? Sounds bad. Sounds bad. Poor boy. Let me know down below. What do y'all think about old boy, old Southern boy that don't like bacon? I don't know. Should we fire him? Uh, should we let him go? Uh, uh, and, or should we just, you know, have mercy on him? and eventually he'll come around, right? The, the original recipe that I was floating around the internet, you know, it didn't have heifer dust, but it should. We're gonna put some heifer dust in it because, well, it's just what you do, okay? I'm gonna mix this real well. This is where the magic happens. I wanna get that ranch seasoning incorporated, get all this unit nice and incorporated, get those knots out, give it a massage, okay? That'd be a great massage though, wouldn't it? A little cheese, bacon, sour cream, <laughs> heifer dust. All right, friends, there we are. We don't want to overmix this. We don't want a meatloaf. We don't want it, you know, nice and compact at all. We still want it loose. So I got a ring mold here. This isn't no small burger at all. This is a, I got my calibrated eye on, okay? And my calibrated elbow. And I think that's, that's about a good 5.6 ounce to six ounce burger. And I like using these molds. They make a nice circle. It just works good, okay? Anderson's come over. They think you hand patty these suckers and they think that you got a circular hand. When in fact, Jeff, no, I got this mold here. I'm gonna put the rest of these in this mold until I run out and we'll come back, all right? Be right back. All right, guys, it is time to party. We made all of our patties. And also I thought, what's a crack burger? Let's try a smash crack burger also with the regular crack burgers, why not? All right, let's go. I, I've, I've been debating in my mind here, like should I add a little bit more seasoning to, to the burgers? And I thought, yeah, you know, maybe. Maybe just a little bit more of our old heifer dust. Still got this bacon grease on the griddle here, y'all. Griddle's smoking hot. And I lay my patties down. I can take my hand, just kind of press down, and that's gonna get a good contact patch. I'm gonna wait for the smash burgers. I'm waiting. We'll do them last, cause they won't take very long at all. Let's talk about our buns because we're gonna need a bun for this. I didn't have Martin's, they didn't have them. So Arnold potato rolls it is. And I'm just gonna toast those up right here in the front. Get those ready. We'll go ahead and season up this other side just a little bit more. 
heifer dust be a link down below let's check on our buns they've been woohoo yeah baby hello how you doing don't want them too much on this other side i think that's good enough just about you know 30 seconds let's give these a flipsy a little flippy flippy those are looking good y'all I tell you what, I want to bring this one over here because I want to get our smash burgers going right over here. We'll get some more of that bacon grease right there. We're going to let it recover just a little bit. We're going to smash burger. Smash crack burgers. We got to get our bun mayonnaise. And y'all know what's up. State law, Duke's mayonnaise. A little bit right here. Who are we kidding? It's not a little bit. Our griddle is up to temperature. I'm going to put our smash burger balls right there. We'll make it, we'll make doubles. I'm gonna make two. I got two left here, but that's okay. Little trick here. I learned this from my old buddy, CJ, from CJ's first cooking show over at Blackstone. Let that cook, let that get a nice little contact patch on that first side and just wait, just wait what we do. We need to give these some attention. Let's see where they're at. Honestly, I think, I think these are really almost done, y'all. They are very, I don't know what you call, well, all I'd say they're loose. So you do have to be careful. But I think these balls have had enough. You see that right there? Now, watch this. And, whoo, it didn't work very good for me. Ah, there we go. Just like that. Oh, well, there we go. So you don't really need parchment paper is good time to cheese these dudes american cheese right on those crack burgers our smash burgers it might be because they're this is kind of loose that's the only thing i can thinking it's a little bit different because you got all that other stuff in it but you know i don't think it's gonna make a half bad burger anyway we're gonna cheese these too because they're pretty much done these are almost ready we're gonna get our buns ready i'm gonna make two of these i'm gonna do these two right here jacob Right there. I like to put my lettuce down first. I'm gonna make two regulars. I'm gonna make two. Oh, only one. No, no, no. yeah, two. Two smash burgers. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. One. And two. Going with the smash burgers now. Woo! Very loose, very loose. That's okay. Hey, my other spatula. These things are hot, boy. Ooh, doggies. Cleanup crew on its way. Glad to have you, Maggie. And boom, right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll give you a little bit more. Let's finish building these things, all right? I'm gonna do, just wanna do a little onion. I like a little onion, a little red onion. Pickles, gotta have pickles. Little tomato, one big old tomato. Then, if you know, we gotta have more bacon here. Now, I'm not gonna put bacon on that because somebody said, make sure you don't put bacon on mine. Crucial part here, state law. You gotta season your maters. I'm gonna season up a little bit of heifer dust. And there you have it, friends. That is your crack burger right there. I'm just gonna slice this thing in half. I debated on keeping it in half. Let's see what this burger's about. Mmm, mmm, that was good. It's very moist. It, uh, I don't know, I don't really taste a whole lot of the bacon inside of the burger, but I taste that bacon on the outside. That ranch dressing mix, I taste it, it's ranchy. It's a little ranchy. It's a pretty good burger, I must say. Guys, I'll tell you what else I like better than a burger. Well, maybe bloopers gosh sometimes like this i just want to rub my, you ever rub your eyes it just feels so good yeah. just keep rubbing and rubbing mackenzie she's always like gosh I said, you get into it i said it feels so good mm -hmm. crack burgers you got more dust on your <sighs> all right let's go let's get these so i think i might do like crumbled bacon plus uh like some strips okay. for the burger. 
Where am I going with this? Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going with it? Put it right there. What do you think your old masseuse broke out some heifer dust and poured on you with a little bit of lotion? You're getting a massage. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sounded good. Hey. Okay. What do I do with my hands? I don't know. All right. Still going. Test, test, test. One, two. So what do you want to, do you want to try like uh, this burger? That's, that's the big burger. All right, Mayor Bear. Uh-oh. It's messy, ain't it? Is it good? Let me get this for you. How many thumbs up do you give? I mean, you got two thumbs. I mean, one and a half? No, two? Oh, okay. All right. 